Todd? Todd, can you hear me? You need to wake up. There you are. Jesus. Are you okay? I don't know. I don't feel okay. You don't look okay. Then why'd you ask if I was okay? I don't know. It seemed like the right thing to say. Mm. Who did this? I don't know. Did what? It's almost 8 in the morning. How long have you been out here? I have no idea. Did what? What the fuck happened to me? Looks like... You got clobbered, Todd. Oh my god. Who the hell did this? That's what I asked, remember? You really don't remember. No, I don't remember anything. Nothing at all. I remember I was walking home last night. I took a shortcut through here and that's it. That's a good start, right? Not really. God damn it! I can't believe I got mugged by some asshole. Do you really think it was just a mugging? What did they take? Uh, nothing. It's all here. Phone, wallet, keys. What kind of idiot would mug me and not take my stuff? The kind of idiot that has a real beef with you. Any idea who that might be? No, I can't think of a single person who doesn't like me. This... This doesn't have to do with that Michael guy, does it? Michael? Michael who? The track guy? Michael Johnson? What, you think it was him? I don't know. You were the one who called me last night. Called you? Yeah, you called and said you had done something with Michael's girlfriend and you were afraid he was going to find out. Melissa? Oh shit, did I do that? I can't even think straight right now. Ugh. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. My head just started pounding. It looks like you might have a concussion. You should go to the health center. A concussion? Please, Lindsay. I feel fine. No, I need to go... Class? I think you can miss one day of class. Class? Who's talking about class? I'm not talking about class. I'm talking about finding the crooked fucker who did this to me. Nobody clobbers Todd Norton and gets away with it! Let's catch up sometime soon. Todd stepped out into the cold morning and tried to clear his head. Who could have done such a number on him? Why had they done it? And why hadn't the coward owned up to it? He tried to think of anyone he knew who might hold some sort of grudge against him. Whose lips across this campus turned to a scowl when they heard the name Todd Norton.
your hut, where are you? <laughs> Stay up. Todd knew he was never going to crack this case flying solo, so he went to the only person on campus he knew who could help him, Oscar Eisenberg. You look like shit. Thanks, bro. No, I mean, really, you do not look good at all. Are you okay? Do you need a, a band-aid or something? No, not really. What I need is your help. Okay, what's up? I'm looking for the guy that did this to me when I was walking home last night. I made a list of everyone who might have some sort of grudge against me. Anyway, can you help me, bro? I need another brain. Another brain? Yeah, man, I got Frankensteined. The good brain got dropped and it's all Abby normal up here now. I don't know, man, this is a lot. I've got stuff- Please, I'm Oscar, 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 please. Please, Oscar. Oscar, please, 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 Oscar. Okay, Todd. Okay. I guess, uh, how about you give me the top three names? Okay. All right, the most likely suspects. All right, yeah. I made out with his girlfriend Melissa at a party last term. He swore revenge, but so far no follow-up. Or so I thought. Ah, uh, number two, Professor Alan Ahab. Professor? Yeah, Professor, he taught my history of thought class last term. Everyone in the class has gotten a B or better on their final. Most impressive. Well, all except for <clears throat> Mr. Todd Norton, who classically effed this one up, if you know what I'm saying. You failed a class about thinking. Yeah. Impressive. Todd Norton, you are on academic probation! <laughs> Number three, Juan Jeremy. You are the coolest and best person for getting me this marijuana, Todd. Don't mention it. It's definitely not oregano. <laughs> it totally was oregano. He smoked it. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it could be anyone, really. Hell, it could be Lindsay for all I know. A girl? Hey, man, don't be sexist. Well, this is as good a start as any, I guess. What we need to do is go down this list and see if any of these people confess. Kawabonga. I'll start shaking trees and see who falls out of them. It has been said, because it is true, that joining the right fraternity can make the career of a young man. Lambda Alpha Rho is the political factory that's greased the wheels of the state of Oregon for generations. Regardless of academic major or political party, having the Lambda pin on your jacket guarantees a job in the state house, senate, or capital. Somewhere amidst the four loco, beer pong, and spike drinks, a future is forged. But before you can be a state senator, you need to be a pledge.
Hey, squid fuck. Yes, sir. You and Ice Giant are on guard while I'm gone. Got it. There's a retaliation coming. I can feel it. In the air. Maybe it was the wind. UPN? What? Are you with UPN? Do I look like a fucking mailman? Oh, Who oh, are you with? Sigma? Unhand me! If you're not with Sigma, then you're with UPN, and you assholes got one coming for you. I don't even know what that stands for. University of Pacific Northwest. Duh. Are you really not with them? Who are you with? Your mom. Who are you with? Oh, stop it, you muscle-minded! Like a fan. You're gonna give me shaking baby syndrome. What do you want with Michael? And what do you want with those tests? I want you to suck oh. it. Oh. 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 
I have evidence. What? I have evidence. On Michael. We can use this to prove he punched me. Oh, you're actually doing that, huh? What? Yeah, I mean, yeah. What is this? I, I don't know, but it was all hidden away under his bed. You were in his room? Yeah, man. How? I broke in, man. You broke into Michael Johnson's house? Yeah, it was awesome. Now look at the evidence, man. These are tests. Oh, what, like STD tests? What's he got? No, Todd, these are biology tests. Huh? All these tests prove is that Michael Johnson is getting surprisingly good grades. That's it. You know, I'm actually kind of baffled that all of these tests have A's on them. Oh, God, why don't you marry him? <gasps> all right, so what's next? Can I break into his place again, or what are we doing? No, no, no more breaking into places, okay? Please, let's try to avoid jail time here. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just find him, Michael, and ask him? But, oh man, how in the world am I gonna do that? You know, he could be anywhere on campus right now. He could be anywhere in town even. He could, oh man, what if, what if he got on a plane and he fled the country? He could, be, he could be halfway to Luzon right now. He's right there. What? Holy shit. Go get him, tiger. <sighs> and it was all over the locker room. PNU's gonna piss in you. But that's what they get. I mean, I'm president. I gotta do that kind of stuff. Yeah? I got beef with you. We need to talk. Jesus, Todd. You look like shit. Yeah, I bet that's a real surprise to you, huh? Look, Norton. Can't you see I'm a little busy right now? No. It's okay, Michael. I'll see you at the party tonight. Uh, yeah. I'll, all right. Yeah, I'll catch you. I'll catch you then. All right, Norton. You want to talk? What do you want to talk about? Somebody jumped me last night. Left me looking like this. Trouble is, they didn't leave a forwarding address, so I have no idea who to thank for the facial reconstruction. What? You think I did it? Did you? What if I did? You gonna fight me? That's a possibility. <laughs> no, Todd. I didn't beat you up. Even if I had a reason, I didn't have the time. I had track practice last night. That's a likely story. Calling me a liar, Todd? I'm not calling you a truther. Look here, Todd. Get your shit together, Todd. He didn't do it. No? Nope. He had track practice last night, so it couldn't have been him. You know, I had to go ahead and beat it out of him, but I guess we can cross him off the list. Todd, this might come as a surprise to you, but I can see through windows. I, I watched you. Okay, great. So what do we do now? I don't know. Who's next on the list? Huh. Alan Ahab. Where do you think he could be? This had better be good, Todd. I don't have time for you right now. You look like shit. Professor Alan Ahab holds a bachelor's degree in history from PNU a doctorate's degree in the history of literature and drama from NYU, and has served for six years as an officer in the United States Air Force. He regards the most difficult challenge of his life to be instructing Todd Norton. Yeah, so they say. It's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm trying to find out who did this. And you're coming to me for a specific reason, I assume? Yeah. Did you? Did I, a professor, yes. follow you? Yes. 
a student yep. home and then physically assault you? Yes, exactly. Norton, I am a tenured professor at this university, and I will not be continuing this conversation with you anymore. Well, that's mighty suspicious, Professor. I really don't care what you think. Don't ever interrupt my class again. I cut office hours for this guy. Shit! Hey, Oscar. Just got back from talking to Ahab. He said he didn't do it, but he started to crack when I asked him where he was last night. I think if I just push a little bit more... Forget Ahab. You need to get back to Johnson. I looked over his alibi and it does not check out. Wait, what? There was no track practice last night. Johnson threw you for a loop. So he lied to me? Can he do that? What? Oh, shit. How are we gonna find him now? No problem. I looked at his class schedule and he's in the science building. For the next hour. He's taking... Uh, hang on. What? He's taking Physics 451. Electromagnetism capstone? What the fuck does that even mean? Is there a course description? No. Whatever. Everything else on his schedule is milk toast, though. That just seems way out of his league. Oh, great. He's secretly a genius. I'll keep it in mind. I'm looking for... I'm look... He's not here along with everyone else. I mean, the goddamn door's locked. There, there's no one here, I don't know, I can't get in. Yeah, well, ain't nobody here but us chickens. Maybe they went to the bathroom. Or they all went out to lunch? I know what you're trying to do. Now where would I want to eat if I liked physics? I know what you're trying to do. Hold on, there's a guy. Hey, man, I'm trying to talk on the phone here. I want to help you. What? I'm looking for Michael Johnson. You know where he is? You're not going to find him here. You won't find any of them here. Are they in the bathroom? Come with me. I've been waiting for you. Uh, you were gonna- No, you. No, I wasn't. I've only been teaching at this institution for six years, but it didn't take me long to pick up on what's been going on around here. I didn't know how long it would take before someone like you came around. Me? Look, I don't know your reasons. But if we're both after the same thing, then I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah. What? This should be all you need. I confiscated the original's fall term, but it wasn't long until I found myself under administrative pressure to return them. But before I did, I was able to make these photocopies. Holy shit, this will help me get Johnson? Not just Johnson, all of them. That is all you'll need. Why do you have this? I'd turn it in myself, but... I have a wife. Two young kids. I can't risk my job like that. Oh. Okay, well... Uh... Look, man, I appreciate the help and everything, but I gotta get back on the trail, you know, so... Godspeed. Gazoonite.
Oscar! Jeez. What? Oh, you're back. Yeah, man. And you're not gonna believe what I got now. What is this? That is what a professor gave me. What is it? It's all the evidence we need to prove Michael beat me up. A professor gave you this? Yeah, man. And he said that's all we need to get Michael Johnson. Have you looked inside? Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. I was saving that for now, man. For you and me, <laughs> right here. Eisenberg and Norton were busting the case. Oh my god. Yeah? Is it good? What is it? What do we got? The fuck? Yeah, I don't think you and that professor were on the same page exactly. God damn it! God damn it! I was so sure it was Michael. I was so sure it was Michael. Look, let's move on from Michael, okay? We can come back to him later. Who's next on the list? What? Shit! I lost it! I lost it! Now, now we'll never know! Calm down. <laughs> Look, I... I remember the next name on the list. It was, uh, it was Jeremy. Right? Blonde Jeremy. Oh, man, you're perfectly right! I, I mean, yeah, I can't, I, I can't remember myself, but... You're probably perfectly right! Do you know where to find him? Mm, no idea. But I might be able to find someone who does. Hey, anybody know where blonde Jeremy is? Dude's impossible to find. LOL. A Facebook status. A Facebook status! That's great. And maybe in the meantime, we can try and think of a different, less fucking stupid way to try and find him. Good luck. You said he feels pot, right? Mm-hmm. So, can you think of anyone who buys pot from him? Oh, shit. You think they might have beat me up? No, what? No, Todd, if you find someone who buys from Blonde Jeremy, mm. that someone might know where he is. Oh. You understand? Yeah, that makes so much sense. Dude, you're so smart. Man. So, do you know of anyone? Yeah! Yeah, Michael! Can you think of anyone else? Scott! Hey man, you home? Todd? Dude, you look like shit. Not too pretty yourself. Whatever. Todd, what's my hourly wage? What? Oh, um, how much am I getting paid by the hour? I don't really know what you Well, mean. since apparently I am your personal maid, merely here to clean up the trail of messes left by the mighty Todd Norton, how much are you paying me? Ah, uh, the bathroom. Right. The bathroom. I, I am talking about the pile of dishes you haven't done for almost an entire week. The dishes? Mm. <sighs> Did something happen to the bathroom? Todd? What the fuck, Todd? This is it, Todd. This is over the line, over the fucking line. We need to set some rules, okay? Some, some, some fucking boundaries. That is the only way there's gonna be any order, any, any sanity in this house anymore. Suddenly, I mean, Todd realized that there may have been one more suspect than he had originally dishes, thought. How long does it take a man to crack? No bills, How many scummy plates? How many half-filled cups? You, like How many child, frying like pans with cheese like burned into them? Todd had been searching for a foe on the outside. He had never suspected it would be someone so close to home. No. Are you listening to me right now? Did you do this? No! 
did you beat me up last night? What, what are you even talking about? Where were you last night? God, Where were you last God, night? I was here at home. That's just what Lindsay said. You sound like Lindsay right now. Oof. You talked to Lindsay, huh? Mm, yeah. She was the one who found me this morning. Huh. I see. I need to find Jeremy. Jeremy? Not the... Not the hideous one. The drug dealer one. Uh, blonde Jeremy. Todd, I, <laughs> I really don't think getting high right now is the best option. No, no, no. I think he might have done this to me. Jeremy? Yes, Jeremy. Blonde Jeremy. Do you know where he is? Jesus. No, but... I can text him. I don't know you're looking for him. Yeah. Tell him I'm looking for him. Tell him his fucking time has come. Tell him that even though he thought he could pull one over on Todd Norton, that this is a world where actions have consequences. And I'm the consequence. And I'm coming for him, and he better be ready. Tell, tell him that. Uh, no. I just let him know you were looking for him. I wasn't gonna <laughs> type all of that out, so. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, where are you going? Todd. Todd! Jesus. Hey, Lindsay. Hi, Todd. How you feeling? Not good. How do I look? Not good. Like shit? That's one way to put it. Lindsay? Yes, Todd? Investigating is hard. I don't want to do it anymore. My head hurts. My body hurts. My face hurts. Ow! I have no idea who beat me up. I don't even know where to look anymore. Todd, what about Michael Johnson? You said you were going to look into him. I did but I kept coming up with dead ends. All I could find on him were these tests. Tests? So many tests. What kind of tests? And then I investigated Ahab and he said he didn't do it and I guess he probably wouldn't since he's a teacher. And then I investigated my roommate and he didn't do it. And now I'm investigating blonde Jeremy and I can't even find him. I'm a shitty detective. Todd, you've got no focus. Where did all these other suspects come from? What were you saying about the tests? Why Michael, though? I don't know. You're the one who called me last night. You said you had done something with Melissa and Johnson was going to find out. God, I don't remember that at all. You were clobbered. That probably had something to do with it. I mean, I did make out with her at that party last term. I definitely did, for sure, absolutely. But why would he wait until now to retaliate? I don't think you should give up on the Johnson angle just yet. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out. I know you will. Well, that was fucking pointless. Holy shit. Hello? Oscar, I got another lead. 
What did you dig up? Actually, this one came right to me. I got a text from Ian. He says he needs to talk to me. Ian? Guy from that acapella group. Lucky, too. He's one of the few names I actually remember being on the list. Would he have a reason to assault you? Yeah, he would. I quit. Todd? Ian? Alex? You look like dog shit, Todd. Thanks, bro. The Forte Thieves, the only all-male a cappella arrangement on campus, more commonly known as the single most unsuccessful a cappella arrangement in the history of Pacific Northwest University. Ian LaRouge, the lead. A voice like honey and a sting like the bee that made it. Alex Norton, tenor, best known on campus for his falsetto, best known by Todd as his own older brother. But Todd knows that the blood of a cappella runs thicker than the water of the womb. It's been a while. Why'd you quit, Todd? I guess that's what I need to talk to you about. <laughs> Sorry, little bro. You walk back in? It's too late. We've uh, already been auditioning other bases. <laughs> yeah, but it's not surprising, though, that you would come crawling back. No, I don't want back in. I didn't want in in the first place. <laughs> you know, Todd, after you left, Brian lost all faith in the Forte Thieves. He changed his major to biology. So now, we have no bass, we have no baritone, and it's all your fault. Although, I must say, we, um, we were hoping that you would show up to auditions last night. Auditions? Last night. That's, That's right. right. Shit. What, what time was that? Practically the whole night. I mean, <laughs> there were a lot of auditioners. Shit. So you guys didn't do it? What? See, I've been trying What to... I don't understand, Todd, is if you wanted to quit, fine. Yeah. Fine. We're the Forte Thieves, the only barbershop quartet on campus since 2013. We don't need you. But there's only two of you. Why... why just ignore us for an entire term, Todd? Man, I didn't want to deal with it. Oh. Oh, well... If you didn't want to deal with it, I'm sorry. Alex, he didn't want to deal- Todd! Do you know what it means to be a man, Todd? It means fulfilling your obligations and accepting the repercussions when you don't. Yeah, the repercussions. I don't know anything about percussion. That fucking joke right now! You know, Alex, <laughs> your brother always did have the best sense of humor. And maybe, uh, maybe that's what we've been missing. <laughs> That or, um, one quarter of our vocal arrangement. Two quarters of our vocal arrangement. All I did was sit around and go, Ooh. Don't you say that. Don't you ever say that about the bass, Todd. It is a vital component of the accoutrement. The fucking... Your... Your absence has left your brother's falsetto entirely isolated in a number of pieces. Okay, but... Okay. 
man, just kiss someone else, like for real. But what I'm trying to let figure- Let me ask you something. Yeah, let him ask you something. Just shut the fuck up, Todd, and let the man speak. I have a question for you. He has a question for you. Jesus Christ, go ahead. What the fuck? This isn't some fucking high school anymore, Todd. This is the big fucking show. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious right now? Get it together, Todd. Get it together. Fuck. We asked you here today, Todd, because we found this. Hey, that's mine. Yeah. You know. You know what? This is a great list of vocalists, Todd. But, um, why? What? You left us, and then you ignored us all term just to go and try to start your own acapella group? Todd, I don't understand. <laughs> Wait, that's not- I think your brother might be right, Todd. I don't think your Forte Thieves material and given your paltry attendance over this term and all of last, I'm afraid we have to kick you out. I don't, I, I don't. Michael Johnson is on here? What? What are you doing, Todd? Trying to take Johnson? I don't even know what you're talking about. That list- Well, yes. Michael didn't tell you he's already auditioned for us. No, he never told me that. Michael and I are- Sh Shut up, Todd! He's thinking of defecting. What, what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? We need to find that asshole as soon as possible. Do you have his number? Where's the contact sheet? Why are we meeting in some dark parking lot? Blonde Jeremy, a business major whose only viable business prospect was as the biggest distributor of marijuana on the Pacific Northwest University campus. You know, cause we're dealing drugs. It's pot, Todd. We're not slinging heroin. So, uh, where'd you get this? Oh, some guy I know just, uh, just gave it to me. Figured you could get some use out of it. Sell it or something. Huh. All right. Awesome, Todd. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. So what, you wanna roll one up with me? No, no, that's, that's all right. I uh, already had some, I'm full. Full? Yeah, with pot. What, is there something wrong with this? No, 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 every, everything's fine. Actually, uh, yeah, another joint would do me good. You're, you're right, yeah, one for the road. <laughs> Todd watched the disaster roll itself in front of him, but couldn't think of a way to stop it. 
His only hope, as he prayed for, was that blonde Jeremy would smoke the joint without ever noticing the difference in herb. Okay. What is what? Pot, I mean. <coughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, that burns! <coughs> Wait, this... This isn't... Oh? No, I'm... I'm allergic to oregano! <coughs> the whole time, huh? I didn't even think to look here. What are you doing asking around about me, Todd? Oh, right, yeah. I've, I've been trying to find you. I've got something I need to ask well, you. I'm gonna ask you something first. I was already talking You've been harassing about... my customers all day. You've been seen hanging around with that narc professor over in the science building. And on top of that, you've got this list of people who buy from me. Whoa, that's not... Wait, Professor Ahab buys pop from you? That's hilarious. What the fuck is the big idea, Todd? What are you planning? I'm not planning anything, Jeremy. Because well, it sure fucking seems to me like you're planning some kind of bust, you fucking narc. Why? I've never been called such a foul name in all my life. You're not even blonde, you asshole! He's not even blonde. You guys know that, right? What the fuck are you two, anyway? What? His goons? His muscle? His, uh, let me think of a good one. Thugs. Don't help him. I have biology with you. Oh yeah. Hey Brooke. You better start explaining, Norton. Okay, look, here's the deal. Somebody followed me home last night and kicked the shit out of me. That's why I look like the Toxic Avenger right now. That list is my rundown of suspects. Uh, people who might have a big enough beef with me to leave a five knuckle calling card. You see? I'm not trying to get into your pot ring or something, man, I swear. It's just a hell of a coincidence. I mean it, man. So, yeah. The end. Why am I on here? What? Why is my name on your list? Why would I sucker punch you? Because of... For a moment, Todd almost kept his mouth shut. Almost. You know, the oregano incident. Oh, wait! You didn't even remember that, did you? Okay, so you didn't beat me up. Okay, cool, great. So, we're cool now? Uh, I, I can go? We're done here? No, we're not fucking done here. You want me to give him another beating to match his first one? Uh, hey, 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 I have biology with you, come on. You didn't even recognize I... me, and you're a dick. Okay, fair point. No. Great, thank you. At least somebody here has some sense, Brooke. Now, if you can just untie me, I'll be on my merry way. But you are gonna do something for me. What? No, Jeremy, I'm busy. Owe me, Norton, you fucking owe me. Oh, all right, Jesus. Boner? Uh, no thank you. I was talking to him. 
His name is Boner. Yeah, man? Ricky's got another case to pick up, right? Yeah, man. You wanted to sell pot for me, Todd? Uh, no, I'm not really interested in that. Yes, I've got just the right job for you. Is it leaving here with the same amount of blood that's in my body right now? Because I could do that so well. Ricky is the guy who grows our stuff for us. And once a month, he fills a little suitcase full of marijuana. And once a month, I send one of my lackeys out across campus to pick it up. And then they come back across campus and they give it to me. But this month, you're my lackey, Todd. Nah. I wasn't fucking asking you! This is how you can repay me for the little oregano incident. This is how we're gonna get even, see? You're gonna bring me that fucking suitcase, or I'm gonna follow you home tonight. Now I'm gonna give you a reason to put me on that little list of yours. Got it? Um, do I have another option? <laughs> <laughs> this is Ricky's address. Great. Oh, also we have a test on microorganisms on Thursday. Great. You guys are dick. There you are, I've been texting you for an hour. Oh. Take a look at this. Look, I've been going over these tests that you brought, right? They're fakes, Todd. They're forgeries. Look, it's, it's, it's the same names, it's the same answers, it's the same everything. Wow. And look at the names. They're all members of the track team. I mean, that can't be a coincidence, right? Right. Todd, look. Oh my yeah. god, Oscar, I don't care. These tests didn't beat me up, so I don't give an ass. All right, I've got more important things to do right now, okay? So come help me deliver some pot. Pot? What? What? Yeah, I had a run-in with blonde Jeremy. Did he do it? Did he beat you up? Nah, but he's going to beat me up if I don't deliver this suitcase of pot for him. And you're going to do that? I mean, Oscar? He's gonna beat me up if I don't. He'll he'll bust all the chops that were left unbusted. I can't I can't handle that. So come on, let's go. No. I'm sorry, Todd, but no, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Oscar! Look, I'm not gonna carry a suitcase full of marijuana across campus. Okay? I can't afford to be expelled. My mom would be super mad. After everything I've done for you. Todd! Fuck you, Oscar! Fuck you! Also, I'm uh, totally not done with the whole mystery thing, by the way. So, if you could still help me out, um, I, I, I still need you. Yes! Okay, I'll, yes! Thanks. Sorry. Thanks. Okay, I'm here. Give me the pot so I can go. <laughs> Whoa, Todd? How about that? Todd's old roommate, Richard Benison, AKA Sticky Ricky, happened to be Blonde Jeremy's marijuana contact. He also happened to be on Todd's list of suspects due to an unfortunate moving incident just a year back. Hey, Todd, careful with that mini fridge, okay?
<laughs> Are you all right, man? <laughs> you look like shit. I've heard that just about e fuck enough, you weevil. <laughs> what? You know I'm here. You know what you did to me. I didn't. You uh, thought you could hide, but nobody hides from Todd Norton for very long. I have no idea what you're talking about, man. And you followed me home last night, and you beat the shit out of me. And you almost got away with it, too. But the investigative prowess of Norton and Eisenberg have brought the culprit to life. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Calm down, man. I most certainly did not beat the shit out of you. Why would I do a thing like that? Because of... Actually, you're right. I have no idea. That was silly of me to think. So let's go ahead and just... There you go. Alright. I'll see you later, man. Alright. Hey, uh, well, uh, aren't you here for Blonde Jeremy, man? Oh, shit. That's right. Almost forgot. The dope. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go on in, man. France. Are you? Are you? Are you Todd Norton? Yeah, that's me. Oh, thank God! I thought, oh, I thought I wasn't gonna get ya. A letter for you. A letter? Yup, yup. Straight from the Dean. Probably some heavy shit, I imagine, you know? The Dean? What does it say? What? Hey man, I'm just a little curious, you know. I, uh, it's, it says I need to go to his office right away. Whoa, that sounds like heavy shit. I guess. <laughs> what do you think he wants to talk about? Who the fuck are you? I'm Campus Mail. All right, well, thanks for the letter. I, I gotta go. That's cool. I got uh, letters to deliver. Catch you later.
Mr. Norton. Hey, man, what's up? Hmm. Pleasure's all mine. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here, Mr. Norton. It was on my mind. I know what's in your briefcase. All right, my... Oh! Oh, fuck! Please, Mr. Norton, watch your tongue in my office. It's not my fault, man. You gotta believe me. Everybody's in control of their own vocabulary, Mr. Norton. I'll do whatever you say. Just please don't expel me. Uh, I don't think it'll come to that. You are, of course, on academic probation. Yeah, but I've been doing really well this term, sir. I went to a study group one time, even. You have to understand, Mr. Norton. I'm on your side. Of what? But my hands are tied. If they get to me before you get to anyone else, I'll have no choice but to expel you. I have certain obligations. Is someone after you? Now, you simply can't take this affair to the campus newspaper, or to the governor's office, or even the Oregonian. The editor there is one of us. One of? However, now you didn't get this from me. The Willamette Valley Vice Herald can carry the story. Now they have a circulation of over 300,000 and not one of their editors is a brother. See, this is why I support affirmative action. 300,000 is a lot of people, Mr. Norton. And the, the staff there, they have ties to San Francisco, Chicago, New York. If you can break this story outside of our institution, it should gain enough traction to enact change on the inside. You could restore dignity to these once hallowed halls of Pacific Northwest University. You could break the hold that Lambda has on us all. All you have to do is get them your sources. My sources? Do you want an MLA or? However. Should you fail, I will have no choice but to expel you. They will insist that I keep you quiet, and I'll have to oblige them. Do you understand, Mr. Norton? Yeah, totally. Go then. And remember, you have my utmost support, whatever that means to you. So the tests are in the briefcase? He wouldn't need a case that big for a few tests. I would guess he's gathered a lot more evidence since this morning. Oh shit. He's probably got enough stuff in there to get us all expelled. So then he just walked in and spilled the beans to the dean? We're done. Toasted. Don't worry about the dean. The old boy's a lambda. He can't touch our class. Michael Johnson coming in clutch. All right, where do you think he's going next? Wherever it is, we gotta get that suitcase. Briefcase, it's not a suitcase. They're smaller, designed for business, not for travel. I apologize. Better leave us to it, Mike. He knows you, might blow our cover. Okay, save the team. Save our school. So, now what? I have a plan. When passing in the street, you bump into him, spilling your drink all over him. My protein. Oh no. Lucky for Todd, this stranger has a towel. Let me help you with that. Oh hey. Thanks.
doing? Give me that. Give me. Give me the. Out there. We don't need your sass right now, Annie. We need to get that briefcase. I know, we need the briefcase. But don't worry, because I have an idea. Beautiful day for a stroll, ma'am. Then just when you get close enough, you pretend to trip and throw the baby. His natural human decency kicks in. He drops the briefcase, catches the baby, Better than wasting a protein shake, that's all I'm saying. <coughs> hey! Lady, you gotta be more careful with kids these days. Take it. What do you mean? Why don't we just go up to him and take it? I don't follow. <laughs> I mean, he's just some fucking guy. He doesn't do sports. I've never seen him at the gym. We could literally run up to him faster than he could run, grab the suitcase. Briefcase. Briefcase, because we're stronger than he is, and run away. That sounds awfully complicated. I know it seems that way, but that's the beauty of it. The devil's in the details. And if he tries to resist, we can beat the shit out of him! Yeah. Yeah. That too. What is this place? I think it's his house. Oh, oh, he is good. Pretty damn slick, I'll give him that. He's so good. So good. <sighs> All right, I'm here. What did you need to meet up about? Todd, we are in some deep shit here. What do you mean? <sighs> Fucking hell, dude. I don't think you have any idea of what you've stumbled onto here. Is that? Oh, yeah, the pot. Can we make this quick? I gotta get this to Blonde Jeremy soon. I told you earlier that these tests are all fakes, all forgeries, all being used by the same group of people, the track team. And Michael Johnson, captain of the team, is also president of Lambda Alpha Rho. Yeah, I remember you saying something like that. But it goes deeper than that, Todd. I got to thinking about these tests. And about that empty classroom from earlier, so I started doing a little research. All of the track people, Michael included, are enrolled in all these advanced classes. I mean, Dutch pottery of the Thirty Years' War, survey of 17th century Irish women writers. I mean, this is some upper level, hardcore, writing intensive shit. The kind of classes that those hurdle donkeys wouldn't have a chance in hell of understanding. So I started looking into those classes. And Todd, they don't exist. None of them exist. I mean, they're, they're, they're on the register, and they're marked off with a room and a time, but there's no instructor assigned. I even went to this, uh, this Science of Applied Computer Science Applications class that Buster Miles is supposed to be taking. Todd, it was empty. And I'm willing to bet they're all fucking empty. That's weird. Weird's not even the half of it. I mean, okay, I understand dumbass jocks cheating in their classes. Or frat dudes stashing test keys. That's nothing new, but this? 
This is some next level shit, Todd. This is, this is some administrative shit. This is faculty approved cheating. So the, the track team's pretending to take high level classes? Why would they be allowed to do that? Oh, come on, Todd. Everyone knows that the track rivalry between Pacific Northwest University and University of the Pacific Northwest goes back for decades. It goes back, to be precise, to 1975, the year when Alan Ahab was elected president of Lambda Alpha Rho and also the captain of the track team, setting a precedent that would be followed for years to come. Going into the Clackamas Track Classic, Pacific Northwest University needed only to win one event to qualify for national championships. They went on to lose every event. Every single event. And they lost every event to only one school. University of the Pacific Northwest. They've got a whole curriculum set aside for these assholes. Some sort of shadow curriculum. So the track team beat me up. No! God damn it! This goes way beyond you getting beat up, Todd. This is bigger than all of that! This is a paper trail. I've got a list of classes, and I've got a list of names. I've got tests. I've got everything. Everything we need. It's all here. What do we do with it? We take it to someone who can do something about it. Oscar... All right, fine, but come on. Michael Johnson is still on my list, you know? He's still at large. Uh -huh. We can God. we can take care of my God. list. We can take care of my list first, and then worry about that. Come on, Oscar. I need to know who beat me up. Please, Oscar. Oscar, please, please, please. Let's find out who beat me up, and then and then do this class thing. Please, Oscar. Please. Fine. Finish up your list, and then we will work on busting open the greatest university conspiracy of the 21st century. Mahalo! I need to hide these. Put them in here. What is this? Oh, that's Lindsay's record. I forgot I had that, man. <laughs> Papa did it in the Good Vibes Revival. Yeah, man! <laughs> Awesome makeout music, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. Put that on the spinner and you bought yourself a ticket to Tongue Town. Uh, Jesus Christ. All right, who's next on the list? Well, before I can get back to the list, I've got to take this to Blonde Jeremy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, man, I've got responsibilities here. I've got obligations. I can't let anything get in the way of this. Then what's my name? Uh... I'm sorry, how did we... Are you friends with... Michael Johnson? Yeah! That is how we met, you're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I wouldn't say we're friends though. He's kind of an asshole. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, do we hate the same people? I think we hate the same people. We hate <laughs> the same people, sure. Yeah. So what are you doing the rest of the day? Oh, I actually have this really important it thing. It couldn't be that important. We're in college. It's time to have fun. I'm not doing anything the rest of the day if you want to have fun. Have fun, huh? 
You do like to have fun, right? Um, I'm a little fuzzy today, just to be clear. You're talking about having sex, right? <laughs> you know, uh, when Hitler's army ruled the end of France, mm -hmm. uh, at the outbreak of the Second World War, France has a long and storied military history. They have the most successful military history of any nation today. They have a bad reputation because of Vichy. And this is a very important suitcase. Jesus Christ, it's a briefcase. There's a difference. Oh, well, whatever the case may be. Why don't you just relax? These never would have helped me. Mr. Professor, fancy meeting you here. So, you came after all. Didn't know you could be so focused, Mr. Norton. Focused like a Ford. Though, so, gotta say, I was just with this chick and she did break my focus a little. <laughs> she left me all worked up. Let's just say, I now understand Picasso's blue period. Do not want to talk about your sex life. No, of course not. Put your fucking shirt on. So. So? To what do I owe this visit? You came into my office, Todd. Okay, look, dude, someone beat me up last night and I really want to get to the bottom of it. No, it wasn't me. And you want to know why? Uh... Because I already received my satisfaction. It came late last quarter when I came into my office and saw in my mailbox your final paper. When I saw your name on top of that piece of shit, I knew that I was never going to have to see you again. But now here you are, and you forced me to wake up from my dream. Yeah, good morning. About that paper, by the way, you totally failed me. Another satisfaction. Come on. That failure was earned. You worked hard to fail that paper. Your assessment on Don DeLillo's works and being the heir of Camus and Salinger, it was utterly dog shit. Fuck Don DeLillo. No. Fuck you! Fuck your paper and fuck you! Jeez Louise. Well, what were you doing last night? I do not have to sit here and give you a fucking alibi. I don't know if this will change your mind, but I got here. I went by this certain frat house. Let's see, they've got all these 
tests that they save from all their classes and pass around to their brothers. So I've heard. I lifted your file. These are all the tests of yours, from all your classes. Maybe if I forget them here, I'll leave them on your desk, in your office, maybe, maybe that will refresh in your memory. That's a clever bribe, Todd, but I'll do you one better. If you don't hand me those tests, I will pass it on to the school that you are aiding a network of plagiarism. Pro! If you don't give me those tests right now, what else am I to believe other than the fact that you're going to give those back to your Lambda buddies? Well, you gotta believe me. Wait. How do you know I meant Lambda? Holy shit. You knew about these tests. You... You fucking gave them these tests. My buddy Oscar's right, there's some fucked up shit going on in this school. You do know what it means to be cited for plagiarism, don't you? All right, Todd, I'll tell you where I was last night. I was with my wife at home, with my son and with my daughter. We were watching The Third Man on TCM. I went to bed early, I woke up early, and then I came to work. Listen, in Italy, under the Borgias, they had terror, murder, and bloodshed. But they also created the Renaissance, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, great artists, great scientists, great thinkers. In Switzerland, they had 500 years of brotherly love, peace, and democracy. Do you know what they produced? Uh, can I see those tests again? Get out of my office! Get the fuck out! I'm kind of dizzy right now. Get out! Okay, okay, okay! Off I go, into the wild blue yonder. I didn't beat you up, Todd, but the person who did deserves a scholarship for their contribution to the community. If I were you, I'd forget all about those tests you had. Two copies, asshole! <laughs> It's a briefcase, excuse you, and I could ask you the same fucking thing. Me? What the fuck are you talking about? I just have no idea where it is. I could ask you the same thing. Oh, you have no idea. It just disappeared. Well, no. It was taken from me. Taken? Yeah, by Buster Miles and some short girl. Buster? That track team turkey? Uh, I, he's not all that bad. Great. Get it back. What? No, Jeremy, I can't. I don't know where they are. I've got things to do. 
I have to find out who beat me up. Well, who beat you up, huh? Oh, Boner here. He can tell you exactly who beat you up. So is Boner your Christian name? Oh! Oh! I know where we can find Michael. Really? Where? Lambda Alpha Rose having a party tonight. We'll have to find him there. Did you get the suitcase delivered? Actually, the briefcase got stolen. What? Yeah, some girl took it and ran off with Buster Miles. He spilled his drink even. Okay, great. Then that's out of our hands. No, 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 Oscar. Jeremy's never gonna let up if I don't get that case back. And he'll send his goons, he's gonna threats. Oh, fuck. This is actually a worst case scenario. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It sounds like you need to find the briefcase. Have you tried looking for the girl? I don't even know where to start. I, I don't know who she is. If she's with Buster, she's probably from Delta Nu, Lambda's sister sorority. Oh, that would make sense why her room was in the Delta house. I'm not even going to ask. Just go talk to her. All right. Also, uh, since I got you, I still got quite a few names on this list. I think maybe no, we... No, goddammit. No. Fuck the list, Todd. Forget the list. No more about the list, okay? We're done with the list. Oscar. Oscar, I don't think you understand. Do you know I got beat up? Uh, so, does a girl live here, by any chance? Sorry? No, I'm not trying to proposition you. I just need a girl. No, you should go. Just, I'm gonna call the police, okay? Oh, they might be able to help, yeah. Hey, uh, where's Buster Miles? He's dropping off the briefcase. <gasps> Thank you so much. Blonde Jeremy was totally bugging about that. Thanks, thanks for helping me out. It's gonna be in better hands. Michael Johnson's actually. Oh, no? Uh, yeah. Whatever you thought you were gonna gain by busting the track team, not gonna happen. So the track team wants the pot? Hey, um, by any chance, did you, did you beat me up last night? It's for this project I'm doing. Um, no. Hey, uh, can I get your number? Oh, I, I actually am busy that night. Track practice. I asked, I asked your number.
Yo, BJ, glad to be back. Love what you've done with the place. Todd? Found your briefcase. Where is it? Miles ran off with it. The chick said he was taking it to Michael. Michael? Michael Johnson? You got it. I should have known. I should have fucking known! selling dope under my nose this whole time, and now he's trying to come in on my business? Yeah, or something. Alright, we're good, Todd. I got it! I got the case! Yo, Michael! I got the case! What's going on? I got this briefcase Michael wanted me to get. It's got proof of the fake classes. Some asshole's trying to use it to bust the track team. No way. Who'd want to bring down the track team? The name's Todd Norton. Todd fucking Norton? I had history of thought with that guy. He's an asshole. W what could that idiot have found out? I don't know. Michael just said it was evidence. He wanted me and Annie to go get it. So Michael's had you spend all day chasing after this. Where is Michael anyway? Hey, squid fuck! Yes, sir! Uh, did your big come back? No, sir! He rollerbladed away before that guy stole the tests! We go gone all day! Mike leaves, and this pod just comes through and happens to know how to get into the master bedroom, and happens to know exactly where the tests are. Then we don't see Michael for the rest of the day. Guys, I don't know. Each time we try to get the briefcase back to Michael, something came up. Then where are the tests? And where the fuck is Michael? <laughs> So, did you guys find out who had beat up Todd yet? Not yet. It was Michael, it's gotta be! Michael Johnson? What would he do that for? Todd made out with his girlfriend at a party last term. Um, no he didn't. Sixteen thousand of their own men. Uh, the Wehrmacht, they they had no winter clothes and they thought uh, they steamrolled Stalin. They 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 were very wrong. I've been learning about this in, in my in my in my Russian front class. But my favorite war is definitely World War One. It's called the Great War for a reason. Now at at the start they were still using cavalry charges for Christ's sake, um, especially in the Eastern Front. And, and throughout, throughout they advanced from mounted attacks to airplane battles. They were fighting in the sky. So, I'm all out of war trivia, but mind if I hang out with you anyway? Todd, but really, I... Um, no. I, yes. Yes. Alright. 
Oh my god! Todd! Oh my god. Sorry! Yeah, there's no way you made out with that girl after doing that. No way, I don't remember that at all. But you remember making out with her? Oh shit! No, I totally don't! Ah! Jesus, Todd! I'll get it. Hey. But, Lindsay said I called her last night because I was afraid Michael was going to find out and come after me. Todd. When? Todd. Huh? Todd! When did you call her? Check your call history. Dude, I can't find it. I'm- Todd! It's for you. What? Melissa, hey. What's shaking? It's Michael. Of course it is. I'm worried for him. I just got a call from him. He sounds terrified. What? He says he keeps getting these calls about a suitcase. I don't know anything about a suitcase. There's been a briefcase going around. I don't know where he is, and he won't answer his texts. Todd, I feel so horrible. About him, about last night. Last night? Last night, when we had sex? I am never gonna forget that. Yeah, we had sex. Look, Melissa, Oscar and I are already looking for Michael about or something else. We're going to the Lambda party tonight to see if he's there? I doubt he will be. He sounds really spooked. It's the only place we can think to look for him. Maybe one of his frat bros will know where he went. Okay. I was talking to Lindsay. That was fine. You, you look like shit, Todd. At this point, it's the shit that looks like me. I don't know if you find him. And please, about last night, I'd rather nobody... You got it. I had sex with Melissa last night. Is that motive enough for you? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. So, you didn't make out with Melissa at the party last term, but you did do the dirty with her last night. Michael obviously finds out about it, and he clocked you on your way home. <laughs> Which means, all that's left is... The party. Kicking his ass at the party! Wow. Looks just like the movies. First frat party. Hey, man! I'm telling my friends. I'm looking. Oh. Ah, this is Schnucks! It looks like Johnson's already been here. How do you know? You think he's still here? No idea. Let's uh, look around, I guess.
Yo, bro, who are you? Can someone vouch for you? Uh, what? Can someone here vouch for you? I need to know you can be vouched for or you can't be here. I'm looking for Michael Johnson. Oh, whoa, sorry, man. I don't want to be involved in that Johnson shit. Wait, no, I, I wasn't... Hey, I'm looking for Mike. Hey, bud, how you doing? Hey. Hey, have you seen Michael? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for Michael, man. Have you seen him? I hate this shitty music. I hate this shitty beer. I hate this shitty party. Everyone here punctuates all their sentences with dude and, and bro. Yeah, you really stick out, man. But I don't think he's here. No, I think it's time we check out. Bro. Hey. You Todd? Yeah. Norton? Yeah. Todd Norton? No. You're the guy who took those tests and took them to the dean. Yeah. You're in cahoots with Michael now. Michael? No. I'm actually trying to find him though. Do you Somebody know say Todd Norton! Jeremy! What are you doing here? I'm looking for Johnson. What are you doing here? What? We're looking for Johnson! Hey, bro. Who do you know here? Can someone vouch for you? Oh, piss Did off, you get muscle monkey! Whoa! What the fuck is that? This? This is mine! This is mine! And you can't have what's mine! Christ. Look at you fucking posers. Look at this orgy of stupidity. You know, you're the people who never grew up after high school, so fucking stuck up in yourselves and your popularity, never stopping to think about anyone else's problems. Well, I've got problems. Yeah, a whole mess of them. The biggest of which being that all of my rightfully owned property is being passed around some stupid fucking frat house, all because of some asshole with a broken face. Now, I'm gonna relax a bit. I'm gonna smoke my joint. I'm going to take my pot. And then I'm gonna leave. Got that? Time to go. I don't fucking think so. Did you just hit him?
was a bust. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart feels like it's gonna burst. <sighs> so what do we do now? Oh, shit. I have no clue. I mean, I mean, Michael could be anywhere. Anywhere in the world. Yeah, man, that's me. Remember from uh, earlier? Uh... Oh! <laughs> well, how did your meeting with the Dean go? <laughs> oh, real swell. I think. Uh, what's up? You got something for me? <laughs> Holy shit. It's from Michael. <gasps> Michael? This is... This is really weird. Uh, he wants us to meet him. Where? Delta Nu. What's he doing there? Hiding, I guess. What's he hiding from? A lot of people. What'd he do? Oh, what the fuck? Who are you? Oh, hey, man. I'm just trying to get the hot goss here. You know how it is. Yeah, man. <laughs> anyway, we gotta go. To meet up with Michael. Exactly. <laughs> you got it, man. Quick, get in here. Come on, man, hurry up. I don't know what you've got me into, but I want out. Oh, yeah? Like, earlier today, this guy and this girl called, and they were asking about that... that suitcase. Yeah, they were... they were threatening me, man. Briefcase. And the guys from the men's choir, they've been hounding me. I swear to God, Ian's been following me all day. Man, I didn't even want people to know I tried out for it. Like, like, what if I didn't get in? Sure. And now everybody in Lambda, everybody on the track team, my team, my brothers, they all think I'm gonna... Give a fuck! They all think I'm gonna narc at them about the classes! Oh, fuck the classes! What the fuck is going on? I know you've got something to do with this, Todd! Yeah, it's got something to do with me, alright. I, I need your help. My help. Michael Johnson needs my help. Oh, how the tables have turned. What? Todd, don't. Oh no, I will, Oscar. Seems the chickens have finally come to roost for old Johnson. What are you talking about? Seems that what goes around comes around, huh, Michael? I've been waiting all day for this moment, and it's finally here. It's finally time for you to admit that you followed me home last night and clobbered me senseless. No, I didn't. Uh, yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Did it. Did it. Did it. Don't lie to me. It was you. It was you all along. It wasn't him. It was me. What? I did it. I clobbered you last night. Wait, are, are you sure it wasn't someone else? You got beat up by a girl? Hey man, don't be like sexist. But Melissa, why? Because. Because I wanted you to think it was Michael. I wanted you to think that Michael did it and I wanted you to kick his ass for me. Uh, Melissa, why? You think I can beat up Michael? Awesome. But you never talk to me. I'm just another trophy for you. And you know what? And then there's all the classes. You cheat every single one of your classes, and all of the fake classes, all the bullshit classes you and your team take. I mean, come on. God, and then, then there's all those sorority sluts that you spend all your time with. You know what, and I thought, I thought, no. If he's gonna cheat in all of his classes, what's stopping him from cheating anywhere else? And then there was Todd. Me? Norton? Hey, man, I only did it with her once. That's like almost zero times. And you didn't know that. You actually didn't beat me up. What made you think this would even work? I don't know, okay? My friend suggested it. I was drunk and she, she was very convincing. 
Yeah, but, but, but I felt bad about it all day. And, and I can't live with this guilt and... I'm so sorry, Todd. Todd? I'm so sorry. Todd? What about me? What the fuck, Melissa? <laughs> hey, back off, Johnson! Fuck you, Todd Norton! No, fuck you! I might not have beaten the shit out of you last night, but I'm sure as hell gonna beat the fuck out of you right now! EpiPen, motherfucker. her accomplices. So 
Oh, you got a little, uh... Todd! Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. Oh, God. Are you okay? Hey, Lindsay. Yeah, I'm fine. It's not even mine. Whose is it? Hey, Lindsay. That's a long story. You'll have to tell it to me. Hey, Lindsay. Hello, Oscar. Hey, Lindsay. All right. Well. Bye. Hey, see you later, man. Wow, been a long time since I was here. I know. Six months? Eight. And about a week. I'm sure they'll be great. You're looking good, Todd. Yeah. Thank you. I, I feel a lot better, too. My face isn't as swollen. Yeah. 
I meant in general too. You're looking well for yourself lately. What do you mean besides the whole clobbering thing, right? <laughs> right. So did you find out who it was? Hmm? Oh. Right, yeah. Funny thing, turns out it was Melissa the whole time. Melissa? Yeah, some sort of revenge thing against Michael. What? What happened last night? And so, he told her. From start to finish, he told her everything that had happened. He told her about the frat house. He told her about the tests. He told her about the briefcase full of marijuana. He told her about the party. And finally, he told her about Michael. She told him he had no other choice. He wasn't so sure. For the rest of his life, Todd would be replaying that night in his head. Over and over. It was... It was nice talking to you again. Yeah. It was, wasn't it? We should hang out more. Sure. Yeah? Have you read this? Whoa. No, don't read it now. Just look at the author. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah? Is it, Todd? Is it awesome? Yeah, man. It almost sounds like the stuff we uncovered. It is the stuff we uncovered. Huh? This is our work. Potatious. God damn it, Todd! For once in your life, can you not be so fucking thick? 
Lindsay! Your little girlfriend? She used us. She used you. How do you mean? It's all here. Everything we uncovered. All of the classes. All of the names. All the evidence. Everything we found out about the Shadow Curriculum. It's all here. Am I correct in assuming that you told Lindsay everything that happened to us that day? Yeah. Of course. And am I also correct in assuming that you gave her all the evidence we uncovered? No. Great. Then where is it? I, uh... I, I, I left it at her place. Wonderful. So, Lindsay wrote an article about the stuff we found out about, you know, so what? Maybe she forgot to include us, but big deal. No, 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 Todd, it's worse than that. See, when I read this, it all seemed a little too fucking convenient, you know? So I went and I talked to Melissa. Do you remember that night, the Delta New House, do you remember what she said to you? That she thinks I can beat up Michael. No! She said that her friend told her to do it. Remember that? Pretty fucking weird, right? I mean, what kind of friend would tell her to beat you up, huh? So I went and I asked Melissa to elaborate. And can you guess who she named? Lindsay. Lindsay fucking told her to clobber you, Todd. What? Why? That's the fucking juicy part. See, Lindsay, our favorite little journalism major, she was apparently already looking into Michael Johnson and all this shadow curriculum shit. She just needed someone to go in and snatch the evidence for her. Enter you. Me? You. She had Melissa clobber you so that she could convince you it was actually Michael so that you would go snooping around in all his dirty dealings. But I... Lindsay I, fucking used you, Todd. She used you and then she threw you away like an old mop. And you know what? She used me too. I mean, that article is my hard work too. But do I get any thanks for it? Do I get any credit? Do you? Do we get anything for the shit we went through to research that article for her? I mean, a person is dead, Todd. Michael Johnson is dead. And Lindsay Wilson is probably gonna win a fucking Pulitzer. <sighs> Can we copyright it? What? Everything that happened. No. You can't copyright experiences. So, what do we do? Do? There's nothing we can do, Todd. She won. We lost. It's over. Jesus, I can't believe Lindsay. I'm sorry, Todd. I just thought, you know, I thought we were getting along again. I guess it all was just an act, huh? Sounds like it. At least it wasn't all a waste, right? At least we learned something. No, we didn't. I totally can beat up Michael, by the way. I mean, now I can. 
Honestly, though, I wouldn't want to fight him anymore. He's been so down to earth these days. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay.